Hi, my name is Dean Chang, and I'm the Associate Vice President of the Academy for Innovation and Entrepreneurship here at the University of Maryland. Welcome to a special edition of Turvision. In recognition of our third annual 30 Days of Entrepreneurship, we're at Startup Shell. It's a technology incubator for students, by students, that cultivates innovation and entrepreneurship on campus. 30 Days of Entrepreneurship is a month-long celebration of innovation across all 12 schools and colleges, featuring special events, lectures, and student competitions. And Turf Vision will be covering it all. It's the nation's best competition for student entrepreneurs. It's Cupid's Cup, created by Maryland alum and Under Armour founder Kevin Plank with the Smith School of Business and the Dingman Center for Entrepreneurship. And this year's competition saw some of the most innovative ideas yet. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ninth annual Cupid's Cup. More than 1,000 people filled the Clarice Smith Performing Arts Center to hear from the country's top entrepreneurial talent, as well as a panel of visionary entrepreneurs. Maryland is one of the greatest schools that we have in this country, and it's our job to show people why. That's what today is all about. It started months ago with 130 submissions, 14 semi-finalists advanced, and eventually a small group of finalists was chosen, representing startups in the technology, social media, education, healthcare, and sports equipment industries. With $115,000 at stake, the six finalists were anxious and excited for their long-awaited chance to make their pitch. I'm feeling great. Started from the bottom, now we're here. I'm excited to be here. Uh, just really pumped. I'm ready. One of the things I've been really impressed with is the level of competition. And so with that comes a lot of pressure to really prepare for the Cupid's Cup. Running a business while also having a full load of classes, you know, as well as preparing for a competition like this is, you know, a very intense process, but it's been a great experience. I've learned so much about myself and it's really made me dream big and think big about the future. The panel of judges included an impressive group of accomplished entrepreneurs, including media and fashion mogul Russell Simmons. You can never fail until you quit. And so it takes time, you know, and you have to have you know, focus, resilience, and, and most of all, faith. You just put one foot in front of the other, and you begin to make one thing happen, and step one takes you to step two, and then before you know it, you're sort of in a place that you never even dreamed that you could be at. And then it was game time. The finalists need to convince their judges that they have, one, an idea that disrupts the market, two, a plan to grow the business beyond their initial traction, three, an entrepreneurial spirit, passion, and drive. We are proud to be at the forefront of a new revolution by providing tangible products so moms can have it all. I'm going to share with you how we're transforming the $70 billion waste industry. What if I told you I could save one million lives every year with just refrigerator magnets and a laser pointer? Once all the pitches were delivered, it was time to announce the winner. Today though, while there's six amazing companies and six amazing entrepreneurs on the stage, there's only going to be one winner. And that winner is Disease Diagnostics Group. Disease Diagnostics Group, maker of a rapid and inexpensive device that can diagnose malaria, took home the Cupid's Cup. When you see an entrepreneur trying to solve a problem that's that massive, it just really caught us all like looking at it going, man, that is a big, big idea. Unbelievable. I did not see that coming whatsoever. So this has been an unbelievable experience. 